Assalamu alaikum. Today I will present the response to another allegation of anti Muslim about a scientific mistake in the Holy Quran shooting stars. I will show that this allegation is based on misunderstanding of the Holy Quran and ignorance of scientific facts. Let's listen to this. Number 59. Stars are missiles. The Quran describes some of these stars as missiles for protection thrown at rebellious devils so they don't listen to the high assembly of angels. Apparently, none of the verses presented herein makes any connection between stars and missiles. Let's see one per one. So the first verse, Surah 67, verse 5, is talking about lamps, not about the stars. And lamps can be planets, stars, or shooting stars, not specifically stars. So anything that shine in the sky, we can call it lamps. So there is no reference to stars here. Then the second verse, Surah 37, verse 6, uses the word kawakib. And kawakib in Arabic language means planets or stars. Both of them are possible. Indeed, we can see that one of the translations uses the word stars and the other translations uses the word planets as you can see from the reference below and the third verse surah 15 verse 18 does not talk about stars at all or about planets at all but only about a visible flame let's continue with the allegation Muhammad believed that there were devils above who would try to snatch secret knowledge from the heavens above and bring it to soothsayers. And these stars were made to shoot those devils and to chase them if they steal knowledge. But hadith also clarify that this refers to shooting stars. Shooting stars as we falsely call them. Unintentionally, the anti-Muslim has proven the authentication of the hadith. So what was meant by the Quranic verses was indeed shooting stars. So the Hadith is explaining the Holy Quran. Let's continue. Because that's what we thought are not stars. They are meteoroids and are of a completely different nature, such as from comets or asteroids. They enter our atmosphere and burn and light up. Comets and asteroids are ejected from planets, correct. But there is no contradiction with the Holy Quran as I explained that the Arabic word used in the verses can also indicate planets. Even if we assume that the verses meant stars, scientifically speaking, planets are originally ejected from stars. So we can say comets, asteroids and shooting stars are ejected from planets and planets are ejected from stars. So the origin of all of them is the stars and Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum.